Hey everybody, hello! How are you doing? What's going on? I got a bag from Timu today. Wow, I have some Timu stories to tell you. But first of all, look at this bag, you guys. It showed up, I haven't opened it yet, with a huge hole in it. So, I don't know if everything's gonna, I don't even know. Let's calm down. I don't even know what, I think this is another mishmash of orders. And I have no idea what's even supposed to be in here, but that's really lame. That's a huge hole. Oh, I'm stu- I should have taken a picture of it before I just cut into it. Oh, well, it's all right. I've been getting some weird emails from Timu lately. I got one email from them that said, we noticed that you have a lot of Timu content and you're not entering it into the inner influencer program. So we went ahead and entered your links to your videos for you. And I was thinking, oh, okay, well, um, they're not formatted the way Timu wants them. Like when you do a video for Timu, you have to paste, copy and paste this MLM type looking thing in your description with a lot of emojis and just a lot of emojis and stuff. And I never paste all that in my description. And so I knew that if this lady submitted all these links to these videos that my description, my video description was not going to pass. All they do is look at your, they don't watch your videos. They just check your description to make sure you've got all the la 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 in it. And so then, yeah, she emailed me back and she said, unfortunately, we could not approve your Timu content because you didn't have the right video description. You didn't use our description in your video. And I was just sitting there thinking, right, because I don't usually do that in my videos. Anyway, it's a long story. But then, and then today I got an email from somebody at Timu saying, hi, we're Timu, introducing, telling me what Timu is and going, we'd like to offer you a paid sponsorship. What are your rates? I tell them the same thing, 10 bucks per every 1K views. And um, then they vanish. They always come up, pop up in my, they slide into my email box and dangle these paid opportunities in front of me. And then they don't, um, I never hear from him again. This, I won this in Fishland, our life action camera. This was one of my Fishland prizes. I'm trying to win Fishland again. It's that last fish, you guys, that's just, oh my gosh, it's going to take a month to feed this last fish. And I'm more emotionally invested in the prizes this time in Fishland. Like this prize my first Fishland prizes, I was kind of like, what? I didn't know what was going on. So I just picked two random things that I really could care less about. Could not care less about. This is some kind of an action camera. So can I film? Oh gosh, it comes with all kinds of little attachments and stuff. Oh my word, it comes with all kinds of little attachments and stuff. And a screw. That's not good. Where's the actual camera? What is this? And of course, a charging cord. And where exactly is there even a camera in here? Or this looks important. What is it? Be very careful. Where are my glasses? Under this bag? What is that thing? A battery? Rechargeable lithium battery. Lithium, lithium ion. Okay, where is the camera? Do I have to build the camera from scratch? Is it a do-it-yourself camera? 
here is the camera. It is so tiny. Holy cow, it's tiny. Now, for one little camera, it sure comes with a lot of stuff. And it says, please load the battery for the camera. All I want to know is, is it a video camera or is it just a taking pictures camera? Does anybody know? Sports 4K Look at it, all this, the diagram of all this stuff. All right, I don't know. You can apparently put it around your neck or something and run around with it. You can put it on your bike. You can put it on everything. So I'm assuming it's like, um, I'm assuming it's a video camera. If it's a video camera, that could be cool. I could take it out in the world and film some things actually leave my house here's an armband or something and here's some I have no idea you guys I'm a little bit neurotic about all these little tiny parts that go with it okay so I don't even know how much that costs or if it really still exists outside of fish land let me look here's a this looks like a I don't know what that is I thought that was a car charger but it's just another thing with a screw on the end wow that's a lot of stuff Okay, let's put it back in the box. Okay. Thanks, Fishland. This is what I got for feeding my little fish. I put it there. Now, let me see if I can find it. And I wonder if I could still get a price adjustment on things like that. Okay, make sure I'm undelivered. Scroll up. Where is my camera? Where are my dragons? That's a Game of Thrones reference if you've never watched Game of Thrones. Okay, there is a free gift I won on some other thing. Oh, I can't find the camera, you guys. I can't even link to it. I don't... Or, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. Action Camera Ultra. It won't let me click through to it. Is this the same thing? $18.89. You can take it underwater, too. Cool. I think that's what it is. I don't know, you guys. There are so many cam, or maybe it's thirteen dollars and thirty-eight cents. Portable sports camera, underwater diving recorder. I don't know, you guys. They have a lot of little cameras here. Action camera ultra. I can't click through to look at it. I can't, it won't let me click through to see like what it, which one it is or how much it costs. But anywho, okay, that was fascinating. Okay, next. What's next? This looks mighty ugly. But what it is. Oh, hold on a minute. Let me hide this so it's not just sitting. Oh, you'll know why in a minute. This is a tote bag. It's an art supply bag, and I got it to put my diamond painting stuff in. So, cheese. This is the cheesy thumbnail. Let's get it out. Hold on, it's going to crinkle for a minute. How was your day? Mine was busy. I had a lot of work to do today. And then on my lunch break, I went to Five Below, and I had to literally talk myself down from a panic attack in that place. Five Below is so bright and so loud with such, like, just jarring music, and it's so nuts that I, I could, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to lose it, hyperventilating, get me out of here. 
I don't know why I went in there because I haven't been in there in a million years. And I thought, is there anything I could haul in here? But no, my gosh, no. I mean, there probably was, but I couldn't. I had to leave. Okay, so this is really big inside. As you can see, you guys, it's going to fit all my diamond paintings. And then on the outside, there are all these pockets, which is going to fit more diamond painting supplies. And this is on the side then there are more pockets on this side and then this side has a side pocket so very cool and then is there any are there any pockets on the inside no it's just this big roomy tote bag inside perfect this is exactly what i wanted not necessarily in this color but I think this is one of those deals where the other colors were like a couple dollars more or something. And I'm like, I'll just take the ugly color. I don't care what color it is. But now I kind of care what color it is. Now I'm kind of like, uh, why did I get that color? Uh, now I just have to find what order they actually sent me. Not that one. And then I went to Home Goods, you guys, and you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. I went to Home Goods to look at the Halloween stuff, and they, all the Halloween stuff was just on two little tables, and they were already just filling that place up with Christmas stuff. And I'm like, are you kidding me, Home Goods? It's not even October yet, and you're already packing up your Halloween stuff and you're putting out the crib. Like, could Home Goods just slow their roll for two seconds? I couldn't believe that they were already sold. I don't know if they were, you know, sold out or just done with their Halloween stock, but there was not that much left. And you guys, I might not be able to find this tote bag. I'm embarrassed to say it, but. Let me go to the, I would go to delivered, but I don't think it knows that it's been delivered yet. No, it's not that one. Not that order. I know people are just sitting there with, like, they're, you know, clutching something like a teddy bear or a pillow or something and going, we need to know how much that costs. And they're shaking and they're just dying to know okay I paid $8.78 for it and I got a price adjustment on it and it is now $7.89 and see look how much stuff they crammed in it in the picture wow that's cool oh so maybe that was the only color choice I guess I just went with the cheapest one they have a lot of um they have a lot of tote bags for art supplies. Okay, I got these for my mom for Christmas. Now, this is her kind of sense of humor. Let me cover up the bad word. It's got an, it's got an old school, it's an, it's an oven. So, every year when we ask her what she wants for Christmas, she just goes, pot holders. I don't know where that came from, but every year we get our pot holders now just as more as a joke than anything, but there was one year for Christmas that she just really wanted tons of pot holders, and then it just became like a tradition to get her pot holders. So this is a an oven mitt and a pot holder, and it's got old school mother feeding her daughter, or no, maybe it's a little girl, and oh, it's a little girl and her dog, and it says, this is bleeping delicious. So, um, and the, the mitt has it even bigger, and it's cool, it's got, so this is my pot holder this year, and yes, my mom will like it, she's a little bit crass, so this is Bleeping Delicious Oven Mitts, were they in this order? Oven Mitt Set. Uh, oh, no, that was the hand. Oh, there go the flowers. Oh, no, the hand fell off and it took a bunch of paint with it. That's nice. Get back up there, hand. 
That kind of scared me. Did it scare you guys? That was scary. House is haunted. The reason why my videos are so long is just because I sit here and just go do 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 looking for the prices of things instead of looking through the bag in advance, writing everything down like a normal person would. Oh, I'm not going to ask. This time of evening is when you know who wants to tell me if the if it's going to rain tomorrow or not. Okay, I paid $3.99 and they are now $2.99. All right. And I did get a price adjustment. Here's a little thing. We're lucky it didn't fall out of that hole. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. Um, this is a adopt a ghost certificate of adoption that is all jacked up till death do you part okay i guess i adopted a ghost it's a little ghost i think it's broken it's in a jar. I think it glows in the dark. And it, you wear it around your neck. And it's kind of cute, isn't it? Hold it up for a thumbnail. Cheese. I do have cake all over my teeth. I just ate a piece. Hello. Look at my ghost I adopted. His name is Fred. I had a parakeet named Fred once. He was a funny little guy. And then we had another parakeet named Ethel. And she was a riot. And she could swear because she picked it up from my dad. So was it Fred or was it Ethel who was always screaming bad words? Wait, no, I think it was Fred who was always screaming bad words, thanks to my dad. And Ethel could mimic, like, the counters opening and closing and the sound of them because we had these squeaky cabinets. The counters, the cabinets, because we had these squeaky cabinets. So Ethel would always make these squeaky cabinets songs. I'm doing this on purpose, talking for this woman named Janice, who, in my comments, told me... Um, that I talk way too much and it drives her insane. And she always shows up in my comments too and goes, always, and says, you're talking so much and it drives me insane. And I just want to ask her why she keeps coming back then, Janice. I think her name is Janice or is it Janet or is it, I don't know. I don't, I don't like to call people out by name. Anyway, that was kind of lame of me. Here's my adopted ghost. I forgot what I was even looking for. I'm just scrolling through stuff. Cute ghost necklace, glow in the dark, ghost charm necklace, $2.98. And it is the number 11 bestseller in dress up and pretend play. And the only thing that I feel a little bitter about is on the picture, they showed it with like, a black chain, which I think looks really cool for Halloween. Not that silver one, but that's okay. I might wear my adopted ghost tomorrow. I don't care what people say. Okay, what else is in here? Wow, 20 minutes. Oh, I got one of these. Yay. So we can, you know, I just need a piece of chalk or something to write on it. Well, and hope that it comes off. So I can be like, take one. Take two. Instead of editing, I'll just be like, oh, we got to do that again. Take two. It is a chalkboard. Oh, it smells like it. It smells like something funky. Like maybe you could, maybe if you smelled this too much, you could get a little buzz. I don't know, man. But uh, this is really cool. I just need some chalk. 
Do you have any chalk clover? Clover's right here. I can't turn the... I can't turn it. Everything will fall. Clover's lying down right here. Okay, what did I pay for that take one, take two, that director's cut, director's thing? I paid... Uh, it could take hours to find. Hours. Literally, it could take hours. You know what? If I see it, I'll let you know. By the end of this order, we'll know where everything is. And that'll be exciting. Is it this? Is there underwear in this? I hope not. I want to show people my underwear. How much is that dog in the window? Let me try going over to delivered for crying out loud. No, it just shows this. Doesn't it didn't update? Oh, there's Clover, everybody. Clover looks a little scruffy, you guys, as usual. I don't know. When I find it, I will tell you how much that thing cost. But we're going to be here all night. I got $5 today because this thing did not come on time. That order did not come on. I'm wearing that Ghoul Girls um, t-shirt, which is cool. I didn't wear it to work. Obviously, hello! Hello! Okay. I kind of need to get in this thing. Okay, the next thing that's in here... And don't you worry. I'll tell you how much that, that director's thing is. We'll find it. It says, Happy Hallow Thanks. <laughs> Happy Hallow Thanks, Miss. But this is really just iron. Like, is it even ironed on? It's like slapped on. This patch is going to get shredded in the... And this sweatshirt does not feel like a sweatshirt. It does not pass the fleece inside test. It feels like a shiny scuba shirt. And then this feels like a cheap thing that was barely ironed on. And it's just got all kinds of... It's funny, though. And I got it probably in the biggest size I could find it in. And can I find that? I can't. I'm, I've never been so disoriented in my life, you guys, in terms of like what orders are these and where are they and what in the world. I, I feel like I need to do this whole video over. I might actually. Once I find where all this stuff is, I might do this entire video over and do it organized in orderly fashion. But so what? At lunch today, I went to Home Goods. I was crushed because they didn't have any Halloween stuff left. I went to Michael's, which is, ugh, gosh, our Michael's is really gross, you guys. And um, there was nothing cool in there. And then I kept walking. I was walking around this little shopping center and I walked to Five Below and I almost had a heart attack in there and I had to get out before I started screaming or something and that's about oh here's the director's thing you guys see I knew we would find it the director's thing is 447 the wooden clapboard director film movie cut action scene slate board clapper and now it is 448 and you can get it in white or black Okay, now is my sweatshirt here too? Happy, hello, thanks, miss, or whatever that says. No, of course not. We could never be that lucky. Why did it split this up into, it split these up into like three packages per order. Now that is just messed up. The one with the waggly tail. I don't know. I'm off my game. Well, when I see that sweatshirt, that cheesy, cheesy sweatshirt, I will tell you how much it costs, but I'm going to say it costs, and I'm going to be wrong because I always am, but it probably cost about 10 bucks. And who the, who the hell... Those. Is that it? I don't know. You guys, I don't know. I'm sorry. 
just keep going or we're never going to get out of this alive. Here's another t-shirt. I'm just going to skip the prices for now because I don't even know what orders these are. I've never been so, like I'm so discombobulated, you guys. Usually I can find the orders. This one is a soft, thankfully it's soft. It's a little shiny, but it says believe and it's got Bigfoot walking through the forest with the Santa hat on and it's got a little Santa hat on the E. It's got a snowflake over the I and it's got reindeer antlers over the V which is really cool and um let me look at this tag because this is really soft it might be one of those magical deals where they managed to make polyester soft 60 percent polyester 35 percent rayon and five percent spandex okay now we know that's the magical formula and if i see a t-shirt like this it's going to be soft and who knows how much it costs. If I ever find these orders, I will link to them in the description below. If Timu will let me link to it and not just put Timu.com. Like sometimes it does. It'll say share this order and you go okay. And then, it'll, and then it goes copy this link. And then you go okay. And then it just goes Timu.com. And you're like okay, that's going to help the people a lot. But I'll find it eventually. <laughs> That's my motto for this video. I'll find it eventually. I'm trying to look. See, I'm frantically flipping through this right now. Trying to look because I feel like a failure. I feel like such a failure. I don't know. I give up. I give up. You de you've defeated me, Timu. You succeeded in defeating me. And the thing is, though, you guys, I bought that shirt twice on accident. I bought it in forest green, too, which stinks. I just, I keep buying things on accident. Okay, what else is in here? This is going to be like the order with no prices. This is a little book that you, you put your... Um, what do you call it? Your shoe charms in it. But I was hoping I could just put my pins in it, like my enamel pins. So let me take a look at it. It's for those croc charms. And it's a three ring binder, but you got to put it together. So, okay, it's going to go fast from now on because I'm not going to look for the prices anymore. And it's got these holes like this that you put. I wonder if I can just stick my pins in it. It looks like maybe not. I don't know. If not, oops, oh well, I tried. It was a good idea while it lasted. But wait a minute. Oh, okay, yeah, I gotta put, I gotta put it together. This is just a little tag, okay. Why, why didn't they just put it together for me? But you don't have to use those holes. I mean, you could always just ram the pins through the felt anyway. So, yeah, it might work. I just, I don't know. They're, my pins are everywhere. They're like in drawer, you know, pins. Like the little goofy pins that we all decide we like and we buy them here that we've never really wanted to own before. But then Timu comes along and suddenly we're like, I need an enamel pin. Well, that pin, like, those pins are just sort of in a bunch of different makeup bags, and they're just pinned on tote bags, and they're pinned on hats, and they're pinned everywhere, and I'd kind of like to organize them somehow so I know what's what. I just thought I had a glimmer of hope that maybe if I cruise through this fast enough, I could find it, but I was wrong. All right, forget it, forget it. I just hate not being able to tell people the prices. It's annoying. I don't know, I probably paid five bucks for that. I probably paid 20, who knows. Okay, the next thing in here is another t-shirt. I, I did not get around to condo marrying my clothes. I, ooh, ooh, it feels like a swimming suit. I, 
uh, diamond painted all day. What is this? It's a dress. Oh, I was going to wear this on Halloween. Okay, it's a it's a dress. I was going to wear it. Alexa, what day is Halloween? Halloween will be on Tuesday, October 31st, 2023. Okay. Would you like to hear a Halloween joke? Yeah. What kind of medicine do witches use on their warts? What? I don't know, but it's not working. Okay. That was dumb. Um, we'll see. I've got the black petticoat to wear under it too to make it all poofed out. So that's that's kind of cute. Cute dress, cute dress. Oops, sorry, Clover. I didn't mean to put it on you. I wish I could tell you how much it costs. With all my heart and soul, I do. I wish I could. I wish I could. Maybe if I click my heels three times and say there's no place like prices. There's no place like prices. I could find the order that that came from. But I'll make sure before I upload this video that I eventually find these orders and then try to link them in my description so you can find them for yourself. <laughs> I feel like crying. The one with... I'm stuck on how much is that doggy in the window. And if Timu would update its things and note that this has been delivered, I could be in the deliver. Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, just leave this order up in case anything else in here. At least I'll have one order up. Cartoon ghost print dress, eleven sixty nine, and it's still eleven sixty nine. They put the uh, it showed a bow around it, but. They lie, like, that's a bow they just tied around it. I was really hoping it would come with this bow around it, which is cute. Let me look at it really quickly and make sure that there's not a bow that just needs to be tied. No, there is no bow. Well, I can get a black bow, but what a drag. Okay, I got some more shoes because the, I, I just have a problem with trying to find some brown shoes. I'm looking now to see, okay, the Bigfoot t-shirt was $8.48, and it's now $7.59. I finally found an order. yippee ki -yay. Here's some brown shoes, because I just want a pair of brown shoes, and I just keep buying various pairs of brown shoes that are all probably not that great really smushed. Okay, there. It's just your basic, you know, orangey brown shoes. Good. Now I've got these. I've got the ones with the bows. I've got the ones that look like Gucci. Oops. Gucci knockoffs. I've got, I've, I've got some brown shoes. Okay, this is a sweatshirt that I thought was funny. And it says, um, Let's see what it feels like. Let's see if it passes. The, uh, mm, it feels kind of spongy. Looks kind of shiny. Oh, it has fleece inside of it. Yes. It says rich anti-vibes extra AF. And I would really like to go up north and visit my nieces and my brother and my sister-in-law sometime in the next few months like preferably or in november or something maybe for thanksgiving or so, i don't know and i want to wear rich anti-vibes <laughs> extra a yeah. i spoil them i buy them anything i'm not rich but i buy them anything they want and they pro oh it's a bow this goes with the dress Gosh, it's amazing what can fall out if you don't pay attention. I need to pose for a thumbnail. Pose for a thumbnail. She oh, you know what I really need to pose with for a thumbnail? Where's my director's board? She, it looks backwards. Well, first of all, get the hair done. 
I almost kind of forgot. I, I felt like I'm just talking to myself. I kind of forgot that I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> she, I look greasy. Take one. Take two. Take three. Okay. Okay. What do you think, Old Clove? Okay, Rich Anti Vibes. I don't know how much that cost. I mean, it didn't cost a lot. <laughs> but I do know that it is right, like, it's totally right here. It's like the first thing. Wow, I'm struggling tonight. Just forget it. Okay, the next thing in here. I'm really mad at Timu for splitting up all my orders into three packages each. And then mailing one little pack. And then mixing up all the pack, And then mailing one of three packages. And then mixing it up with more one of three packages. Like... They made it so confusing this time that I've just, I've never been this confused. And this is a sweatshirt that is spongy. And, but it is fleecy inside. So what we're learning is spongy on the outside, fleecy on the inside. It looks black, but on the back, it's got sequined wings. Hello, cheese. Um, I don't know. I liked it. But if I were kind of... Does it bring me a spark of joy? I mean, I don't know if it brings me a spark. Yeah, I like the angel wings on the back of the black sweatshirt. I don't know where I'm going to wear that besides around the house. And then my mom's going to be like, you're no angel. Take that off. Okay, we know this order is in here, but is it in that? No, we know this order is in here, but is it in that? Nope. We know this order is in that? Nope. This order? Nope. There it is. And there's Happy Halla Thanks Miss or whatever, too. And the brown shoes. Okay, for those brown shoes, I paid $5.04. And they are now six sixty eight for the sweatshirt that I showed you three hours ago. Happy Hallow Thanks, Miss. I paid ten twenty nine, and it is still ten twenty nine. And I would say no, don't get that. It's it feels gross, and it's gross for the wing rhinestone sweatshirt. I paid nine eighty nine, and it is still nine eighty nine. But it is sold out in. Oh, just the large is sold out and the small, but the medium, the XL, and the XXL are still there. And I think I got, I got XXL because of course I did. All right, next is this thing. I don't know what it is. So I ended up not buying anything at lunch. I keep getting back to that story. I bought some boba tea at Five Below and some candy. What is this thing? Oh, I know what this thing is. Okay, this is... I have to paint it myself? Oh, no, it's a do-it-yourself ornament. All right, it's a do-it-yourself ornament with... You put a piece of chocolate candy in the nose and you roll up money and you put it here. Um, so if you're, and then you hang it. So if you're giving someone an ornament, you give them, and it's got candy, it's got chocolate and like a hundred dollar bill or 20 or whatever you're going to give them. But I didn't know I had to do it myself and paint it. It's just blank wood. Now that makes me a little bit, high-pitched 
Let, I need to find that and I want to see if it says do it yourself because, and I, don't you worry, I have been seeing it and seeing it and seeing it. I figured out why I'm confused because here's rich anti vibes for rich anti vibes. I paid $8.99 and it is still $8.99. Okay. For that here. Oh, I guess it, it is, bl oh, but it looks uh, all right, it's not painted, but it just looks, it looks better, I guess, when it's got the candy and the money in it. Although, does mine have eyes? See, yeah, there are eyes, but I mean, you can barely see the eyes. It's like very different, but yeah, you put a truffle in for the nose, that's cute. And then the money, and then you give people chocolate and money. I was gonna do that for my brother, but I I did get him some goofy shirts and that cost $2.97 and it is now $2.48. And you can get gift, bleh. You can get different styles like this one that says money chocolate the perfect christmas gift now see that one's pretty cute too why didn't i get that or the third one is just this kind of one that says merry christmas here's a hundred bucks but that's a cool way to give somebody money but still have it be there goes the hand oh gosh look at all the paint it took off with it gosh hand I got another purse because another one of these hard case purses, except this one has flowers painted on it. And I hope it has a strap. Am I supposed to just carry it like a clutch? Yeah. It really got smushed in shipping. It got really smushed in shipping. Here's the thing, it says forever young. Okay, that's better than, what did the other one say? <laughs> better, forever better, I think is what the other one said. This one says forever young, forever young. Now I'm gonna be stuck on that song. Okay, I ain't gonna break a nail putting this on there right now. I'm not, I'm not going to break, I'm not going to put this on here right now. I'm going to end up, oh, there, I got it. Okay. It's cute, except it's missing a petal. That's kind of weird looking. Why can't, why couldn't they have put one petal right there for Pete's sake? I'm starting to sound grumpy, huh? It's because this whole order is confusing. And Timu, I just figured out, had, they, uh, They've switched around like their order page, so I don't understand it anymore. It's like my, I updated the app today and now I see what they did. Like they, they have a whole new format on their orders page and it's confusing me is what it's doing. I'm getting confused. I'm feeling not so bright. Now, I know I've seen that purse everywhere, but just forget it. Just forget it. I'm not going to waste any more time trying to find things that I don't know where they are. She said, see, that's what they did. They, 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 I don't have any words for what they've done. They've, they've mixed a lot of like inspired by your purchases stuff in here Okay, I paid nine forty. No, I paid eight fifty four for that purse, mini hard PVC square box purse, and it's now nine forty eight. And it comes in all the colors of the rainbow that you want. I thought about getting yellow, but then I thought, what do I really? I have so many yellow bags that are waiting to be used. Okay, the next thing in here is a little, and it's soft, and I don't know what it's doing down at the bottom, but it's got a cute, it's a cute top, and hopefully it'll be cute. I don't, what is going on down at the bottom, though? I don't know. I don't know what it's doing down here. 
Like, why? Is it trying to show my belly button? Let's see. Is it perhaps in this order that I've got pulled up? Because otherwise, I don't feel like hunting, hunting for it. Now I'm really stuck on Forever Young by Rod Stewart. May your garden light. My dad used to sing that song to me. My dad, I miss him so much. Especially around the holidays. Okay, there it is. Let's see what it's doing on the model. Like the holidays are hard, hard, hard without my dad. He made holidays fun. Okay, I paid $11.08 and now it's 11 7 And why in the world, what was I thinking? Why would you want a top? that lines up with your crotch like that and just creates one big line. Like what, why, why didn't they do that on the side or whatever? Like, what is the point of that? It looks like, what, like a vaginal curtain pulling up again or something? Like, just the purpose of it is to reveal your crotch. I can't. I might try to take that apart. Surely we can take it apart. Can't we, if we just snip, if we just snip, I'm always trying to castrate things, snip things. I don't know, man. I'm, it's a cute top if it weren't for that. I have no idea why they designed it like that. And then I, then the second layer to this mystery is why did I buy it? Like, why didn't I notice it in the picture and then buy it? What is this? This is a sticker, another one of those stickers that says, "If you, I hope something good happens to you today. Or it might say, oh no, or it's not. Oh, I got this for my brother for Christmas, but I thought it was going to be a lot bigger. And I'm going to get it mounted because my brother likes creepy stuff like this. And I was going to get it mounted at Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was a whole lot bigger than this. So now I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe put it in a frame instead. And that was probably about three bucks. I'm going to roll it up and see if I can get it back in this little tube. Everybody's getting... Are you guys doing all your Christmas shopping on Timu? I am, except for my one niece. I found on Amazon for her a pirate's treasure chest. She wants to be a pirate every year for Halloween. And I found a pirate's treasure chest full of little toys on Amazon for like 26 bucks. And I couldn't find anything like it on here on Timu. So, and then I'm getting her that Barbie that you dip in water and swirl around and whatever else is on her Amazon wish list. But a lot of my niece's stuff, I got my other niece some cool steampunk stuff here on Timu. Hopefully it's cool. We'll see. All right. This t-shirt is soft and it is all the ghosts that look like um, horror movie characters chasing Pac-Man with a knife. No, that is just tacky. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's a really, really, really soft t-shirt. Let's see if it's that magic formula we figured out. It is 48 minutes, and most of it's just been me trying to find prices. It is... 95% polyester and 5% spandex. I don't know how they got it this soft. And this isn't that bad either. This, I mean, you can, it feels ironed on, but it's not as, maybe because it's sm small telemarketers. Okay, Pac-Man t-shirt, who knows how much it costs. Let's keep going. Here is a little Christmas scene that said 3D Christmas scene, and they lied. It is just a wooden um, painting of snow, and it's painted in a way that kind of makes it kind of look 3D, I guess. But where I think I was going to hang it behind me on the hand, it's not holding up so well. 
It needs a hand. You doing okay, little clove? Okay. What time is it? Six twenty something. Um, it smells like wood. It is wood, or is it cardboard? It's cardboard, you guys. It's just a cardboard thing. It doesn't have a. I don't know. I don't. Surely you've seen them in your own feeds. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought that. I do. Would I buy that if I saw it in a store? Heck, no, I would not buy that if I saw it in a store. So why did I feel the need to buy it on Timu? I'm curious now how much I paid for that thing. Let me go back down to the sweary one and see if it's in this order. Since we seem to be having some luck there. No. Okay. No. No. Here's one that we know that we have some stuff from. Earrings. Oh, there it is. Three D look pink snow winter scene three ninety nine, and it's still three ninety nine. And here is what the picture looks like, as you can see. And then here is what the real thing looks like. I don't know. Okay, it is kind of three D looking when you look at it, but. It's not that exciting. The Pac-Man t-shirt Halloween ghost print tee was $6.29 and it's still $6.29. It's really tacky. I shouldn't be laughing at it. Okay. Are there, I don't know what fell out because there's a hole in the bag because there were supposed to be earrings. I don't know if this is this entire, what is this? I don't know if this is this entire order or just this order was divided into three packages. Oh, this is underwear. I was going to say, no, no, these are camis, little camisoles. So a black one. Yeah, I can always use camisoles, a gray one, a white one, and a beige one to wear under all this see-through stuff. And who knows? What did I pay for those? I don't know. Where are? Where can I even find them? I... Let me see. Package one, package two. Package one, six items. All right, good. Because I have earrings in package two. And I didn't think they'd make the journey. This one. Package one, one item. Rich anti-vibe. Package two... Okay, this one has package one, package two. I don't know. I don't know what was in what and what fell out and what did not. And my hands are all greasy. Oh, for that print that I got my brother, that creepy one. Okay, there's package two. It's confusing. I paid $2.89 for that, and it is now $3.28. That creepy rabbit standing in the woods. And I don't see anything else. This is an empty bag, and whatever else is in here, I mean, it fell out of that hole. So... I don't know. I'm surprised there's no, it's just a piece of paper. I'm surprised there's no jewelry in here or I'm just a little stressy about what I lost. Like what, did anything get lost or why did they split it up in so many packages and blah, blah, blah. And what packages am I even looking at? I don't even know what to link to in my description, you guys. I don't. Oh, I am still looking. I do want to. Here's that pack of camis. Package one, package two. Shipped and shipped. Okay. 
package of four camis. I paid $13.89 for those, but they're worth it. They're good. All right, this has been weird. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, all I can do is just apologize from the bottom of my heart and just be like, this was weird. It was just a weird, like, I was just confused through the whole thing and I didn't know what was going on and I didn't know what orders I was even looking at and Timu is just confusing these days and I think it's time for me to go down and eat. My mom made a cake. My mom made a fruit cocktail cake, which sounds disgusting. She took like, um, I don't know, like vanilla cake and then dumped fruit cocktail in it and then nuts and stuff. I like nuts and crumbled and made some kind of a crumble that she put on top of it and it's like this ooey gooey mess kind of thing like and it's delicious I can't stop eating it I'm gonna gain eight million pounds what else do I have to say okay reading the wives now it's getting kind of twilight zone so if you're reading the wives don't put any spoilers in the comment but what chapter am I on I'm on chapter Let's see what chapter I'm on in The Wives. I know some of you guys are listening to it on audiobook. I'm on chapter... I read a little bit yesterday and then I slept 33. And it's just getting like, what is going on? What is going on? Like, so I like it in that respect. And that's all, that's my deep discussion about the wives. What is going on? I can't wait to figure out what is going on. I'm so confused. And you want to be like, is she, never mind. See, I don't want to spoil it for people. We'll wait. I'll make a video that's just called The Wives. And then if you haven't read it yet, don't watch it. And then if you have read it, then I'll, I'll talk about it. But otherwise, I don't want to spoil it for people who are just reading or waiting to get it from their library or whatever. All right, it's 57 minutes. I'm going to go. This has been weird. I'm going to take my little adopted ghost, though. That's really cute. What was my favorite thing in this haul? I don't know. <laughs> it was such a weird haul. I'm going to try that Halloween dress on. And, uh... I don't know what my favorite thing in this haul was. I don't know what my least favorite thing in this haul was. I don't even know what to think about this haul. The dress is cute. The least favorite thing is like the shirt with like the, well, the shirt from the, from the middle of it up is really cute and soft. That, that shirt with the weird bottom. That was kind of like the WTF moment of this haul. And then... I don't know. All right. Well, I wish I had more to talk about, but I don't. I can't get that on. I will thank you guys. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for your kind comments down below. Thank you for your patience during this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'm so sorry. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you for coming back. And I love and appreciate all of you guys so much. And I will talk to you soon, hopefully. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I got to upload every day if I want this channel to succeed. So I've got a bunch of stuff I got to review and stuff like that. So I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Hello and goodbye. <sighs> Sloppy kisses and big hugs. How do we stop this thing?